The feeling here amongst many Germans is that they're going to do it. We'll see. Uh, the later kick off Portugal, <coughs> Cristiano against uh, the French. Mbappe will be wearing that mask. And then on Saturday, the early kick off England against Switzerland, live in Talk Sport. The later kick off Netherlands against Turkey, live in Talk Sport 2. Every game live across the Talk Sport networks. That is the quarter final lineup. Uh, Rennie Mullenstein, former Manchester United assistant boss and current assistant of Australia, is with Alex Crook and myself uh, this morning here in Dusseldorf. Uh, again, bit of a grey day, but we're not bothered about that uh, because uh, the football is going to light up the proceedings again when we get to Friday and Saturday. So, Rennie, your home nation. The, the Netherlands, just across the border from us here in Dusseldorf in Germany. Last night you did it. You get rid of Romania and now you're in the quarterfinals. Uh, you're in the, sem the quarterfinals, I should say, against Turkey. What did that tell us? Um, why have the Dutch slightly, seemingly gone under the radar until now? Within this tournament, you mean? Yeah. Um, because the focus was on other... Nations, I think. Uh, I think Holland started that like anybody expected, beating beating Poland. Uh, they had a, a decent performance, I think, against France with with a draw, and then obviously they had this this woeful performance <laughs> against Austria. But the, the funny thing was because we always wanted to be whether number one in the group or number three, we didn't want to be number two, so we we chose to to be number three. But uh, everybody was obviously like you know, criticised the performance against Austria. But they've picked themselves up. And I thought yesterday was by far the best performance. There was a zip about them. They they, they, they kept the ball better. There was more uh, vertical direction. Uh, Holland has, I have to say, uh, of all the nations, probably the best forward players that can have pace in 1v1s in Gakpo, in uh, Marlin, in Simons, uh, even Frimpong. All those players, even the pie, they all have got that that action, but they need to make sure they utilise yeah. it. And they did that yesterday, and they they scored three goals. It could have been even five or six. Any truth in the rumour? You watched it with your brother with a Holland uh, shirt yeah. on yeah. in a in a boozer just across the border. We did, we did, and we all dress up. We all go. You be a fan, obviously, and uh, it is. <laughs> it all. It, listen, I always feel how special it is when a nation plays. And if you look at it, you've seen the Dutch fans. They're brilliant. We, we are a party country. Yeah, that's what we do. We want to go out and party, and we don't mind dressing up and look a bit silly, but. We do, but uh, and have some some silly tunes to go with it, but it's all part and parcel, and it's it's important that you get through for the for the nation as well. Look at economically this weekend again. I'm telling you, everybody in Holland, everybody pop, everybody think it will be absolutely packed, and it'd be good for everybody. I still can't quite put my finger on Holland because I was at that Austria game, and you're right, they were really poor. Obviously, they could have won seven or eight yesterday. They missed so many chances, but how much of that was down to Dutch quality, and how much of it was down to the fact Romania were really poor. Where do they sit in, in your mind? Are they are they genuine contenders, or are they going to come unstuck somewhere in this uh, half of the draw, either against uh, Turkey or maybe even England in the semi final? They 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 can be contenders if they get other parts of the game right, but I think they will come unstuck because they won't get that part of the game right. Because Holland is the sort of team is they all want to be focusing on within possession. And if you look at Holland, and that is one of the problems, they want to keep the ball, it becomes slow, it becomes laboured. And that is probably an aftermath of how Holland has always been, and especially under the Van Gaal era, you know, you just keep the ball, but, you know, you're just moving it about for just moving it about with no, no direction. Yesterday there was a bit of more direction. But Holland is not too difficult to play against. If you give them the ball, they can play and they can hurt you. You put them under pressure. You make them go long, you keep the ball, they don't press, you just... Up pick them off, play them through, and that's what Austria did. Is, is that a problem then, that Ronald Koeman, obviously a legendary Dutch player, almost feels he's got to play the Dutch way, even though he doesn't necessarily have the tools to do that? Because you look at Spain, for example, one of their issues at the World Cup was they had all possession, no penetration. You watch them here under De La Fuente. They, they're not afraid to go direct. They've got the two wingers. Mm. They've got Morata who can hold it up. It's not the Spanish way, but it could be effective. It could be, but I do think he has the tools. I really do think he's got the tools and, and, and they can play. But what is lacking is an intensity, an intensity certain in breaking lines going forward. Yesterday there was this intent when Ryan just ca carried the ball and, he, and Marlin and Gakpo, they start running in plays, they're causing things. If they just keep the ball for the sake of keeping, everybody's in a shape. It's very hard, you know, to break them down. If, if they don't change that, and the same with the counter-press, there's hardly any counter-press in Holland, you know what I mean? And, and like I said, better teams that are better equipped to keeping the ball, they can hurt them. Uh, Rene, some would say it's about time, this great football nation, the Dutch. I mean, where have you been? 
the, you, you, you've, you've made it to the last day of a European Championships for the first time in 16 years. I nearly fell over when somebody gave me that statistic this morning. I mean, it's quite remarkable. You've got the players, but you haven't managed to get where you've got to here in Germany for 16 years. Why is that? Uh, it's a combination of things. I think if you... Uh, I grew up, my first World Cup was 74, and that was the golden generation of oh, Johan Cruyff, Cruyff and all those players. Eastkins. And I think everybody from my generation can just wield off that team like that. And then you've had, obviously, 74, 78, where Renzen Brink hit the post, and we lost that final 3-1, and then got the generation of 88 with Ruud Gullit and Van Basten. But since then, after that, it, it hasn't been sort of, you know, and it's a combination of things, not really produced the same quality of star players that we used to have because Holland is a small nation, produced good footballers that always go to big clubs and big leagues. That's why we had a strong national side. Um, and, that, and that has fallen to the, you know, to, the, to the wayside a little bit. We haven't qualified for certain tournaments either. Mm. But this time around, I think, when Koeman previously was the manager, he actually had a really good, good thing going. And then Barcelona came in. You know, and then he left just before the World Cup, and then everything changed again. So it has to be picked it up again. So this three 0 against Romania will blow a lot of confidence within everybody. Yeah, I think if he gets that other part of the jigsaw right in terms of that intensity, that defensive aggressiveness, you know, a bit, of, a bit of mongrel about him. You know, that's what I miss. It's all too nice and easy. And if it doesn't go like that, well, then it doesn't go. No, if if they get a little bit more, and, and the generation that he had, he had players with him, Koeman, Van Tegelen, Van Aale, you know what I mean? And they were all like that. And then the quality will still come. Now, we may as well get this out of the road early uh, as we get towards the end of the first half hour of the show. If the Netherlands beat Turkey and England beat Switzerland... It's Holland against England. Who wins it? Holland. That's confident. That's no hesitation. No. Why? Because we will get better and better in the tournament. I think uh, England has got, if you expose them in certain ways, you can really cause them so much problems. And like I said, if Holland get that defensive side right, they're a bit better structured, better organised defensively, and they can really unleash the forwards, you know, we can attack from all sides. Wow. No, mess, no messing about with Mr. Mullenstein this morning. If it's uh, an England-Holland semi-final, you heard it from Rennie, who knows Dutch football inside out, who knows football inside out. No doubt the Dutch would win it. We're at half ten. Stay with us. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.